My role in Chubby Mellor is primarily that of the director, so it means that I need to take over all responsibility for everything that happens. But now Chubby Mellor has grown and there are a large number of people taking care of different aspects. The cur curatorial team is bigger. Uh, there are people looking at the artistic side of things. There are people involved in production. So there's a lot more demarcation of territories, which means I don't have to micromanage to that extent. But of course, as director, one needs to ensure that quality is maintained throughout. And while things may be right on paper, one needs to check that the ground realities are right, that things happen as and when they do. One of the things I have to do is crisis manage, uh, because things always go wrong. Um, we work with limited resources, so we have to improvise on a lot of situations. And while we improvise, it is very important to ensure again that professionalism and quality do, are not compromised. The area where I have almost exclusive uh, responsibility is fundraising. That's a very big task. And I'm very happy to say that today, Chubby Mela is supported much more by people on the ground, by Bangladeshis, people who take pride in the festival, and people who want to take ownership of such an important event. An event such as Chubby Mela is difficult to do because of the limitations that we have. Uh, infrastructural limitations, monetary limitations, uh, the fact that we do not have many of the spaces that other places would have. So a lot of the work involved finding unique, innovative, creative ways of making do with very little. And we've been able to do that very successfully in the past, particularly in identifying key strategic partners who've been able to chip in in many ways in kind where otherwise we might not have been able to manage. Uh, the other problem is managing superstars. They always have their egos to deal with and it needs to be massaged, it needs to be taken care of. On the other hand, you want to ensure that they still have a good time. So a good mixture of fun and practicality is a mix we try and keep in Chobimala and that stays a major challenge. The key advice I would give to someone asking about Chobimala would depend upon who that person is. If it's a festival director, we would share everything we've done, right or wrong, and help them go through what we've done and help them through the mistakes that we've made so they don't make it again. In terms of photographers, we'd ensure that they're aware that it is a festival of an extremely high quality, that the work has to be not only good, but relevant, pertinent, and today. Uh, with so much work coming from all across the globe, work really needs to be outstanding to have stand a chance. And I think people submitting need to recognize that. And that, I think, is the advice I would give to anyone trying to engage with Chobimala, that it is a world-class top event, and they need to prepare themselves for it.